most of the time when you're integrating, you're doing it with respect to x. And so you can do things like work out the area under a curve um, that's bounded by the x-axis. Occasionally, you might need to switch things around and do an area that's um, bounded by the y-axis instead. That would look something like this. So on this particular example, we've got the curve y equals x squared, and we're working out this shaded region here where it's being... Um, measured against the y-axis rather than going down towards the x-axis and looking for the area under the curve. We're looking for the area between the curve and the y-axis instead. So instead of differentiating with res sorry, integrating with respect to x, we integrate with respect to y instead. So to do that, we need to do a bit of rearranging. First off, we rearrange the formula for the curve that we're talking about. Instead of having y equals something, we want x equals something. So we make x the subject. In this case, it's a fairly straightforward one. So x is the square root of y. Now we're going to have to integrate this, so I'm going to change that into exponent form. So now I want to integrate y to the half. So we want the function in terms of y rather than in terms of x, and we are integrating with respect to y. And we're doing that between the y values of 4 and 9. Now if I integrate that, we get y to the power of 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2, so that's 2 thirds. And we're doing that between 4 and 9. So then we can continue and evaluate that. So for this one, we get the answer of 12 and 2 thirds, and if we're being picky about it, we'll say it's 12 and 2 thirds units squared, since we're measuring an area. So if, you're, if you've got a, a picture of something where you're trying to find an area, but it's actually um, going up against the y-axis rather than the x-axis, all you do is you switch your x's and y's around, and you go ahead and integrate in just the same way.